blame on people who lose their faith. When you lose your faith, it seems like it's like a scarlet letter, like you have to walk around diminished and inadequate because you lost your faith. But maybe some people have lost their faith because they threw their faith at something. And when they threw their faith at something, they had just enough strength to get out of the boat, but they didn't realize how big and scary it was going to be. But I'm telling you that there is something powerful at people who failed in faith. I don't know about you, but I would rather fail in faith than succeed in fear. If I exhaust all of my faith on the way to what Jesus has called me to do, there is a guarantee that I will not sink. Just because you ran out of faith doesn't mean that you ran out of Jesus. Just because you ran out of faith headed towards what God had for you doesn't mean that you're going to lose altogether. As a matter of fact, it means that you took all of the faith that God gave you and you threw it at something. And I think that that is exactly why Jesus was able to use Peter because he needed to use someone who would throw all of their faith in the direction of what God was doing. And I don't know who you are and I don't know what you threw your faith at and I don't know what made you sad and what made you start crying and what made you give up. But I hear God saying there is no shame in you throwing out your faith in the direction of what I was doing that God says that it took just enough faith for Peter to step out of that boat and that means it took all of the faith that he had to get out on the boat and he didn't realize how the water was going to be raging and the wind was going to be blowing but he used all the faith that he had and because he used all the faith that he had he was learning how to run a race with endurance you can't run a race with endurance unless you start using all of the faith you have this season is going to require Require all of the faith that you have, even if it doesn't seem abundant, even if it doesn't seem like it's enough. I hear God saying that you have just enough faith. Take that just enough faith and exhaust it. Take that just enough faith and throw it in the direction of what I'm doing. Why? Because if you take that faith that seems like it's not enough, but it's just enough, then God can show you what he can do with just enough faith. No one will ever be able to take from Peter the fact that he stood on water. Even though he started sinking, his faith took him further out there than he ever thought he would be. And there is a promise and a guarantee that comes when you start throwing all of your faith in the direction of what Jesus is doing. And that means you are just a reach away. Because when Peter begins to sink, he's not outside of God's reach.